Good morning, it's Roland from East Marsh Acres. And uh, what we're doing today is moving the laying hens and they are going into this area that I prepped last night. So the prepping uh, consists of uh, cutting around the perimeter um, so that we can put the, uh, the electric fence in and not have it uh, ground out um, by high grass or any, all, all those kinds of things. Um, so we'll put the, uh, the fence in for, first. So we'll go over to collect it, um, install it here, and then we have to open the high tunnel and uh, bring the, uh, uh, the chicken chaw over. Uh, but we're gonna bring the chickens over here before we open the high tunnel. Otherwise, we'll have to be uh, herding chickens, which doesn't go all that well. Um, so, um, come along for uh, the adventure. Hi, this is Trisha from East Marsh Shakers and we are in the process of moving our hens um, out of the hoop house over there to their new enclosure for a week over here. So um, yeah, so we ended up putting, so Rollin um, whipper snipped around so that the uh, fence will work. Uh, when it's electrified, it won't hopefully not short out. Short out. Then we so we put the fence up, stake them out. Then we put stakes up. We put some shade cloth there, um, and then we put a netting over top so for overhead per predators, uh, which we have had two chickens killed because of a hawk last year. Last year, so we're trying to prevent that. <clears throat> So the next step, uh, we're going to go to the hoop house and collect the chickens and then we are going to put them in here, go back and then we have to get that, the chicken coop, mobile chicken coop uh, out of the hoop house which takes a little bit of finagling with the back end of there. So we'll, we'll show you that process uh, when we do that. So next is get the chickens and put them in here. Time to move it then. Oh, 
While the big ones leave, the little ones play. play. Oh. Come here, Lily. Hard to grab you with one hand, that's for sure. Come here. There's a black one over coming to you, Mom. Oh. <laughs> Don't give up. It's coming. Come on. <laughs> All right, we got one. Alright, I'm going to chase them all this way. Get ready. They're coming. Get the water. Get the eggs. Okay, we need your pliers. Doesn't take the food too. Now you can come in. Okay, all of the birds are over. Now we have a new game for you. The game is Where's Chicken? Sort of like Where's Waldo, but it's about the chickens. So shout out when you see a chicken. There's one in the back corner there, in the open area. It's one of the young ones. There's two here. One over here. Two over here. Three over here. Maybe four. Three. That I can see. So the six little ones. Oh, are there's all a fourth here. one. There's two older ones. I've got four older ones here. Two over there. So where the other two are, I do not know. Notice we're hearing nothing from the birds. They're just too busy enjoying themselves. Unfortunately, they will not eat the thistles. I guess you have to have goats to do that. But they will do a good job on most other grasses and clover, uh, dandelions for sure, they like dandelions, just as we should. Uh, dandelions, all parts are uh, edible for humans. It's amazing Trish, they just bury themselves in here.
So we had a visit right when we were putting the new birds into uh, the fence. We had a visit from the St. Bernard that's around the corner from us. Um, I've never seen uh, either of those two dogs out and one of them came to, to visit us. So uh, Albie was a little excited. Uh, he's a very social dog. Um, but we have no idea as to how uh, the behavior of uh, the St. Bernard that came to, uh, to visit us. So we're not taking any chances. So there are the young ones over there. I think we'll just saunter around a second, see what they're up to. They seem to be enjoying themselves though. Hey ladies, you enjoying yourselves? You can sort of see where the other ones are. They're uh, moving the taller grasses every once in a while. Some of them are eating them. But for the most part, they are pretty well hidden. You hear the young birds, two, three, four, five, six, and they just are not as adapted to the larger spaces with the uh, taller grasses and things. I'm looking forward to uh, what the, uh, the birds will be able to do though because they did very good jobs last year and changed the complexion of the kinds of um, plants that actually grow in the area. I would say that they like being in here. <coughs> All right, so we're moving on to the next stage and uh, dismantling the end wall of the hoop house here so we can get the chicken shaw out uh, through the end. So what we've done is uh, taking apart wiggle wire on the top so that we can move this uh, plastic out of the way. We've detached the center support of this particular um, <coughs> cross beam. <coughs> I've taken the main support off the end here uh, out, <coughs> just disconnected it. And so we'll bring the chicken shaw through this opening and that should be adequate. Uh, so all we did, needed to do was uh, two angle br brackets over on this side and two more on this side. Take this piece of wood with the uh, connecting uh, hardware cloth and basically that was it. Um, to get the chicken shaw to be uh, mobile we take the center bar, the handle, and you put it into the holes in the wood. And uh, we have to string up the, um, ramp. the ramp because it is 
uh, now connected underneath the, the door and so it no longer closes. Uh, the ramp used to be the door um, to the actual chicken chaw as a whole. Um, so we upgraded. Yeah, a little bit of modification. So I think we're ready to actually move it. Um, so let's see what we can do. And if we lose chicken squat while we're doing this, so much the better. Anyhow, uh, we'll keep you informed as to our progress. <laughs> Okay, just to finish off with uh, today's projects and uh, what we got accomplished. So this is what the back wall of the high tunnel looks like now. So we've removed the board that went across from that location to that location. And it's got the uh, hardware cloth attached to it, so it's going to remain off to the side. We'll just put it against the side wall um, while we're using the high tunnel for growing. So tomatoes and cucumbers, etc. will go in here and we'll be taking the, uh, the strawberries out using them as uh, mulch on the actual garden itself. And the, uh, um, the chicken shaw uh, has uh, been removed and I'll show you where it has gone so I'll just venture over here so you can see the potatoes that were left are still growing away um, Trisha has planted a few additional things in the garden in the meantime so these are I think are pumpkins or something along those lines and there's supposed to be a um, rhubarb plant in here uh, those are maggy plants or mucky plants um, sort of a, a relative of celery and then we've got the strawberries and the uh, asparagus in there and finally these are, uh, um, yeah, now I can't think of the name. Garlic, there we are. And moving over here, the only thing we've got um, planted underneath the cardboard is uh, uh, carrots. So an entire row of carrots. And I have yet to broad fork those three rows. And then Trisha planted leek in here. Um, so that's all that's in this particular location. And just to bring you full circle to what we were dealing with last weekend, we've got the pear trees and the raspberry cane that we planted. There's a row at the back, a row here, there's a row here and behind me, and then there's another row up front, including that one there, which looks a little bit worse for wear. Maybe, maybe it'll make it. And Oh, I wanted to show you this too. So we are not responsible for planting this, but we are responsible for nurturing it. 
So this is an oak tree that we noticed two years ago and we are protecting it with all of our might to ensure that it uh, is uh, going to keep on growing. Uh, and there's our black currant and there's another one there. We should have another hascap bush in here, but I can't find it right yet, so hopefully it'll appear and then I can start protecting it. Oh, another thing that I was going to show you is that over here we did plant four maple trees. Three of them have died, but that one is doing quite well. So you can see the uh, the wrap that I still have it around its its um, trunk, but the uh, the leaves are coming out full force. And the fruit trees here, so there are pear trees, two pear trees, and two apple trees. They are doing very well. Uh, thank goodness. And then here are the meat birds. Second day out. Apparently they had a wonderful day. They've certainly done a number on the, uh, the ground here. That is for certain. And I suspect that we'll find them doing the same thing tonight that they were doing yesterday that is all curling up into a ball here in the corner or some corner conserving heat we'll see what they're like in the morning I have to go and turn the water off and let's go and see the big birds and the teeny birds. Not the tiny birds, but the teenaged ones. Good evening, ladies. So people are already inside. Two, three, four, five, six. You're missing one of your cohorts. So we were able to get the oh there she is get the uh, chicken shaw into the space here and the uh, net has been electrified and then we put the um, triangular sail across so that they can get some shade in the middle of the grass here. We found that the, uh, the younger birds were in the shade here quite a bit of the time during the day today. Um, and then uh, the rest of the uh, accoutrements have um, been covered over by bird netting. I don't know if you can see it, very thin. Um, but it certainly does the job because we do not want to lose any more birds to hawks or any other predators as far as that goes. So there are waters in here. There's two um, 
food tubes now, so there's one there and there's one on the other side. The nest boxes are here at the back of the chicken shop. And let's see what happens when these guys are supposed to go in in about an hour or so to see if they actually do have a tendency to actually go inside the coop, which is where they're supposed to be. Or are we going to actually have to engage them to go in? Anyways, so that brings you up to date to uh, what we've got going on with the birds and a little bit of the garden. Um, and uh, we'll do some more planting, I think, probably uh, tomorrow uh, or so and uh, see where we can get from there. Anyways, um, I will upload this, um, edit and upload this as soon as I possibly can. So we'll talk to you soon. Good night.